Stay right there in your easy chair For 30 minutes of pleasure Don't you go, it's more than the show It's the talk of the desert It's the talk of the desert with Paul and Reed. I just love coming home at night I turn around, she's a treasure Everyone and everywhere I go the now, here's Melinda. Well, I'd like to welcome back to Talk of the Desert, the legendary Trini Lopez. Trini, welcome back to Talk of the Desert. Yay! Thank you, honey. Thank you <laughs> so much. Yeah, because you've got a couple more CDs out because yeah. we did your original songs a few months ago. Was it this and one, honey? Was it, it was, uh, all it was original? The, all originals, yeah. We've got yeah. to show the camera right, that, right, yes. Right, And now you've got two more CDs, but you got to introduce the lovely gentleman next to you because um, he's been sort of, I don't want to say your partner in not crime. Sorta, not sort of, not sort of. He has been very important to me because, first of all, he's very talented. I like to meet talented people. Yes. Whether you're a dancer, or actor, whatever. Talk you know? show host. Hey, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I like you. Yeah, I like I you just too, thought of that. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, Joe uh, is a very ta a talented musician. He plays real nice piano and guitar and drums, all kinds of bass, all kinds of instruments, and 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 he is also a very good songwriter, and. Uh, he writes music, he writes lyrics, and, and it's, it's great, you know, to, to meet somebody, not only because they're talented, but because he's a nice guy. Well, I like nice you, people. You, of course, I like nice people, too. But you didn't introduce him. Joe, Joe Rivera, <laughs> welcome to Talk of the Desert. Oh, is that your name? Yeah. <laughs> Joe. Joe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Joe. Jack of all trades, it sounds like, yeah. at least musical-wise. Yes. Yeah. Hi, Wanda. Good to be on your show. Good to have you very much. Now, how did you two meet and develop this partnership? Uh, I think it happened in uh, Indian Wells. Yeah. Around this area. Resort. Then uh -huh. it was out Indian Wells. At the hotel? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. There was a party, some kind of party. <laughs> for and, him. Uh, it was for uh, him. Was it, it for was, me? Yeah, they're awarding you with a music award. Oh, oh, I see. So anyway, so so we were coming out of through, uh, down the lobby, big lobby and all that, and there was a piano there. And, and I think you came up and said uh, hello and all that, and I'd like to sing a song for you, or I wrote a song or something, would you like to hear it? I said, yeah. That's, I think, how it started. Okay. Yeah. So tell them, Joe. So that's pretty much it. I met him at Indian Wells. They had this big Trini Lopez, another celebration of his music uh, <laughs> greatness. And there's a grand piano at the Indian Wells Resort, resort Hotel. Yeah. So Trini, being very friendly, says, yeah, I hear you write a lot of music, and why don't you play one? Yeah. Like right there, there's no guy on the piano, there's no mic. The piano's closed, and sometimes you have to, it says, don't touch the piano. Right, right. right. But we touched the piano. So we played a few. I played a song. There were only like three or four people around. Around that. Part, yeah, yeah. Around that time. Yeah. So I played a song. He liked it, and he asked, "Did you write it?" I said, "Yeah." And then he says, "Well, play another one." And I go, "Huh?" So I played another song, and he says, "You know what? Maybe we could do something sometime." You know, he says he's never done full albums with all original songs, and so here we are today with a lot of material that we've done. A lot. A lot. Yeah. Really. Well, now how long ago was this? Three, uh, two years? About two years. Yeah, two uh -huh. years ago. About two years, yeah. And so now you've written, I, I know when we did, did the um, interview a few months ago about your original songs. Yes. Did you write all of the words in the music or did you collaborate both, both. or what? We collaborated. Yeah, did oh, you? yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when you write with someone, that's how it happens. You know, you get an idea and say, what do you think about this? You know, I got an idea. What do you think about this? And, and that's how we. Uh, that's how we do it, you know. So uh, he and I, are like, you know, it's like I've known him forever, you know. Really? Mm. It's yeah. easy to work with him because um, <clears throat> as a kid, as we've talked and orally, we're, we became like family. And Trini reminds me of my family. He, he's from Texas. My dad was born in Texas. Yeah. His dad was strict yeah. discipline. That's right. My dad was my airborne. Dad. My in, dad, too. In Korea. And so I had that upbringing. So we kind of met. You know, you feel each other out like, even if you're talented or somebody, but you don't have the chemistry to get along, 
it goes nowhere. And um, with that said, we just uh, start working together. And I'll grab a guitar and say, do do button, baby. And he goes, baby, Martin, baby. <laughs> and then we'll switch to the piano. And then, how about this song? And we whipped out six songs, nine months. And one of my friends said, Joe, Joe, tell Trini one on the internet and Google. And I put Beatles' most albums recorded and written yeah. in one year. And the Beatles had two albums ever the most. Sometimes it was do the entire year and do one album. Mm -hmm. They did two in one year. One year. We did six in nine months. Yeah. It you mean six songs or six albums? No, six albums. Forty. It's. I know it's hard to believe, but. What you guys didn't sleep at night? <laughs> yeah. He stays up real late. Yeah, I stay up I'll, late, but he stays up later. Yeah. I'll. Um, I just touch a note and I could hear a song and. Uh, anyway, the proof of it is we have six LPs, almost 50 songs, and how we write, Melinda, it, it's just fun. And uh, so you your collaboration is working really well. You're not really? like at each other's throats at no, any time. No, 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 it, no, it's, no. It's, I don't think we've ever had an argument. No, in nine months. Well, of right, yeah, writing stuff together. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. he's for people that don't know him. I say he's got more like a Robin Williams personality, but he's Trini Lopez. <laughs> meaning, meaning you see some, maybe whomever, Paul McCartney, or you go, oh, oh, hello, Mr. McCartney, and you think he's like the, you know, the superior. And you meet him, you go, Mr. Trini Lopez, Marriage on the Rocks. Uh, it's La Bamba is La what Bamba, it is, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The hit songs in Dirty Dozen movie that my brother and I used to watch when we were little kids. My dad played the Trini Lopez live at PJ's, and I used to be a little jazz drummer, you know, like from Buddy Rich era. Yeah. My dad would teach me, and uh, he'd go, son, you got to listen to this Trini Lopez. So we'd eat sardines and crackers, <laughs> sit on this plate, listen to this LP called Trini Lopez at PJ's, yeah. and then years later, I can't believe it, I'm on your show with him writing music. <laughs> So. Well, wasn't Trini Lopez at um, PJ's. Uh, PJ's? Was that was that one of your first albums? It was my very first. Was your very first? Yeah. Well, then I was correct on and, that. And listen yeah. to this. Listen to this. Will you will you take the uh, LP out? Oh there? yeah. Listen to this. Um, th this album, I've, I've got eighty. How many albums do I have now, Joe? Eighty or 80, so? Eighty. One. About eighty one. Eighty one. Eighty or eighty one. This is an LP, of course, and I'll show you the cover in a minute. But. Um, uh, the, the first album I did was just me and guitar and once in a while a bass player, once in a while a drummer, never a trio. It was just, you know, I, I don't know how it happened that, that it was magic that I recorded the album. Don Costa came up to me and said, Frank Sinatra wants to sign you up for eight <laughs> years <laughs> on reprise records. Right. So I, I, I couldn't believe it and I recorded it and it was the biggest thing in, in the United States. And I was very surprised, Melinda, that not only was it a hit in the United States, but within two, three months, I started to have hit singles in different parts of the world to where I got to have 38 international hit singles. Unbelievable. Not albums, just singles. Singles, yeah. So that's how lucky I got. But um, th th that album, I was going to say, that that album to this day has been re issued in, in an LP, LP form. Oh, it has been. After all this time. Yeah, then that interesting. Honey, I recorded the album in 1962, late 62. But that's when it was real vinyl. Now you're doing it yeah. again in vinyl again? Uh, yes, no, yeah. their they're record companies are releasing it as a vinyl. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I, I got into CDs with, with right. PJs, turning up with more PJs, but, but then everybody, they're getting, everybody's getting into LPs again. Could be, you know what the difference is? If you're an audiophile, the album has a softer tone to it versus a digital mm -hmm. CD, mm -hmm. and there's a little, there's a little more harshness. Now, most people couldn't d distinguish that, yeah. but how do you an know this foil, stuff? How do you know this? I've been around the industry a <laughs> long time. Do you sing? Do I sing? Well, if you want, if, I, if, your par if your party's uh, lasting too long, ask me to sing, and people will clear out rather rapidly. So thanks, thanks, Joe. I appreciate that. But right. so, so this collaboration started about three years ago. Mm, about two. 
No, two years. Okay, and you've already written all these songs. Yeah. Where does your inspiration come from? Just different areas, different ways. Okay, you know? because now you've got your original album, uh, but they're all original songs. They're nobody else has recorded them except right. Trini Lopez, right? Right, right. Yeah? yeah. And then you've got two more CDs that are being released, and it's called a Trini Trilogy. That's my first trilogy I've ever done. Uh, honey. Well, That's the first time I've ever done a, trilly, a Trini Trilogy, ever. It's perfect. I'm glad your name is Trini for Trilogy. <laughs> Trinity. It's a tongue twister. But you know what's really what's really cool is I when I open this up, there you got three CDs yeah. in here. Yeah. And you've got three slots for them. I, I've never uh -huh. seen one like this before. Maybe I just haven't been around very much. Well, I don't know. They're they're kind of but unusual. They're not they're not the uh, the they're not that uh, popular. But but uh, I remember Sinatra had a trilogy before he passed on. Yes, he did. Yeah. But I think that was vinyl. I don't think it was CDs. Do you know? Do you remember? Oh, no, it was. I, it, I remember it was a CD. It was a yeah, CD. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I've got it. I've got it. That's why. I okay. Remember. Yeah. Good. I'm glad to know that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, so you've done the original songs, which we talked about in the last show that yes, you did. Yes. 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 Um, Eighteen tunes, and now. Did you specifically write most of that songs, or is it a cl collaboration? It's, it's right down the middle. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We, it, you know, because I saw, and you have a great show, I have to tell everybody. Oh, you sweetheart. It is. It really is. I, <laughs> should, should we I studied have, I have great guests, it. you see. <laughs> yeah. Um, but where you guys left off was, Trini, what are you going to be doing next? And he went, da 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 da. Well, the da da's came out to all this da da. <laughs> this is what. <laughs> He had first, <laughs> and it's, it's 18 songs, so it's like a double album, basically. Right. Mm -hmm. And then came this Christmas, all original again. 14, we're going to release closer to Christmas. I've never no, done. I Excuse me. Oh, I've never done an original Christmas CD or in, album. In 82 in, never. albums, you've never, never done until, a Christmas. Never until now. I got lucky working with him. You did, did you? But look, look how cute his Santa hat is on. You like that? <laughs> Thank you. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, And the third and then, one is. And then <coughs> we went to. Another first. Yeah, another first. All Christian religious songs. So if Elvis does gospel, yep. well, Trini and I did this thing. And again, every song is original. And the neat thing about even like the Christmas, I remember the standards of Nat King Cole when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. There's not a whole lot of artists going to that top artist that extremely top artists that write their own Christmas. They rely on, I'll do the old classic, chestnuts roasting on, and we didn't. So that's original. All original. This Christian album's uh, original, and then we wrote a single for the Coachella Valley. Yeah. Oh, the it's Coachella Valley song. song. Yeah, it's yes. a nice song. Uh -huh. And the concept was he's so thankful for the support and love of the people in the community, and how we write music is like this. We go get something to eat, and then you go, hey, what do you think of it? like this? And Coachella Valley, and you go, Duh. and you go, you write it. So the concept is, this isn't a for us album. This is for the people here that it would drive in the same concept of a mission statement for a um, the Chamber of Commerce in every city is to drive in money into their community. That's the real reason behind this. Totally different from anything. Right. It talks, the lyric content is about the hotels, the beautiful golf and courses. The resorts. Yeah, everything, the golf courses. It's, it's a commercial and a, and a song that says, come and visit the desert. And if, that's the theory, is to thank the community for bringing people. And then we did this. So if you add up, you know, one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, and this is going to be, this is a mock-up. Meaning, it's coming out though. Yeah, we, if you pull it out, we'll. Oh, okay. Um, this, excuse me. Yeah. Here, here's another first for me. I always wanted to do a religious album, always since I was a kid, and I, it took me 80 years to do it. <laughs> Wait, you lie. You're not 80, are you? Yeah, I just turned 80. Did you really? Oh, happy uh, birthday! Thank you. Last week. Last week. And here we go. So, this is a mock-up. But it's, but it's coming out like yeah, that. It's coming out just like this in September. So again, doing one thing about working with Trini, it's fun. You know, if you work at a bank and your boss is awesome, you probably do better. It's fun working with him. 
and we produce rapidly when we write and compose. Uh, pretty much we play every instrument, every instrument on the album. Only the first album we had a few other musicians, mm -hmm. but we play every instrument, write the words and the music. Um, so leading to this, we were doing research that <coughs> LPs are coming back. So I went to Borders, yeah. and I saw McCartney, Adele, Rod Stewart, vinyls coming back. So we got on the phone, Joe, we got to do vinyls. So here's a caption phrase, Trini and Joe, they go gold. <laughs> <laughs> and cute, yeah. cute. This is a, a sample of what it's going to be like in uh, September. Uh -huh. So in September, you're going to go back to vinyl. We're emulating the best marketing of big artists. So with five, six CDs, the LP, and we started a brand new company called TJ Music. Joe and I. Mm -hmm. well, and, and T's shrimp for T Trini, Trini and J J's for Joe. Right. I figured that one right. out, huh? But we have to give credit to Orly. Oh, well, oh, yeah. Orly's yeah. always right there. No, yeah. she's always yeah. with us. We, right. we do everything together. Right. Yeah, she's in the team. She's so cute, smart. I call her accurate Orly. <laughs> My buddy back in Santa Maria by Santa Maria, they go, oh yeah, who's this Orly you keep talking about? I go, this is her picture. Go, oh, she's yeah. so cute. I go, she she's is. accurate. She's just yeah. so oh, is sharp. And you've been, you've been with Trini 22 years, Orly, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 Well, Joe, we're going to get a break here. Okay. Why don't you play us out on a song with the keyboard? All right. Okay. Yeah. Let's do the ending of that one song that you said oh, we the, should do. Remember that on the piano. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Great, great. Here we are. Okay. So this is uh, obviously unplugged. And we're just going to play one verse in the course. It's on the first one you could buy, which, why not plug it, huh, Linda? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Trina and I wrote almost a double album, almost 20 songs. There's 18 original. It's number five. Heaven's Eyes. There Heaven's it Eyes. It's a beautiful song. And tiny bit behind the story, it's about sharing one pillow with that woman you love, and you look in her eyes and you go, God, I see heaven's eyes, and you go to oh. bed that night with her, and you tell her how wonderful she is, and it's in a song. Here you go. <laughs> back with Talk of the Desert. to talk of the desert and we're going to be singing with Trini Lopez and Joe Shavero a new song it's called today and if I said 
what's on my mind you can see who I am and I'm look, back. looking back on my life today I saw life and I cried from death friends have come some later rest but I'm looking, looking back, back on, on my, my life, life. She's videotaping us. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, tell us a little bit about your background. Oh. Um, well, when I was a little kid, my dad taught me to play drums, and uh, that's when I got introduced to Trina Lopez's music. I'd listen to his albums, and then I'd go to my grandma's in Pasadena and teach myself piano, and uh, I never had any lessons. And so fast forward, um, I play, you know, piano, bass, pretty much all the instruments, and sing. And I spend more time composing than learning people's songs. I have like over 800 songs I've written. Really? From, and wrote stuff for BMW, the Hearst Castle. But then I went to Kenny Loggins. He has a TV show in Santa Barbara. I'm from that area. And it's a big celebrity telethon with many artists that donate their time to raise money for families and low-income kids that don't have much. So I've done 11 shows, sang on it, produced it with them and um, then I met Trini and we start working together and we have a new company called uh, TJ Music and what I started to say before the break was Orly uh, he calls me up and he says hey Joe we gotta start like there's reprise records and then why don't we start our own and what do you think I said T you know obviously T and J mm -hmm. tunes and then he goes yeah and then Orly's in the background going I don't know, I kind of like music better. <laughs> and so we go, sold, you know, and we called it, because she's a, on input on everything, artwork, everything we do, so. That and the two toes, lastly, we. Okay, tell me about the two toes. Okay, what we did is, um, <clears throat> oops, sorry. We have these characters, and this is what they are. These are the two toes. And it's going to fall under TJ Music. We're going to do music, recognize talent, and animation. This is an intellectual property. Maybe a lot of you heard of it. It was at Universal Studios, Pepsi, Raider Halftimes, uh, in full costumes. And I created it in 98. And then Trini and I thought, let's put our brain together and come up with something to elevate it into animation. So we're kind of thinking Trini and the two toes with Joe and it's fun the product line is insane we've already done it with McDonald's and Pepsi here's a tow driver you know <laughs> <laughs> kind of like brings you terrific luck and, yeah. and oh. lastly oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. did he say that Trini <laughs> <laughs> I think you said that <laughs> right and then these so. are some of the cute little characters this was from a McDonald's promotion this is Tasha She's like Melinda Reed, <laughs> intelligent, smart, charismatic. <laughs> charismatic. Well, thank you very she much. She can hold her. I can't, huh? <laughs> there she is, Tasha. <laughs> and then there's Joseph. He's the leader of the group. There's Uki, like Mr. Miyagi. And then this is Melinda's dog, who likes the toes. <laughs> yeah. Called Toe Treats. Eat it. Toe Treats. <laughs> and Stevie. So bottom line is we have this company called TJ Music that encompasses looking at new talent and singing, acting, and we're stepping into Saturday morning cartoons with these characters oh. that are all under the Excellent. same Excellent. company. Excellent. Boy, you're very talented, Joe. So yes, he is. Yes. He really is. Yes. So what's in the future for you guys, you, I mean, I, besides I, the two toes? Oh, huh? let's tell them real quick about my book coming out soon, oh. God oh. willing. Oh, you got the, you got the cover? Here's the cover right Let me here. see. My, mine first. Right. Your first. <laughs> <laughs> this is my, my cover of my life story coming up that Aura Lee wrote for me. Oh, it's called Mr. La Bamba. Thank you, Aura Lee. This should be a terrific story. Because you've been with Trini for 22 years, right? Yes. 
Excellent. And then and it has at the end of the title, it says, how did I get here? By the grace of God. That's right. Amen. 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 And then show me your son. He's going to write also, writing and a, this is, a story too. Uh, a book I'm writing called Recording with a Legend, Trini Lopez, and it will talk about the experiences of writing with him, recording. And I'm going to put a DVD in of all the bloopers in the studio when we took a flight with Orly to Hong Kong and Sri Lanka. Everything will it'll be like a slide in DVD with that. And uh, fun. Yeah. <laughs> I want to thank two people, uh, Dave Thomas DeMarco. He does yeah, all of our uh, yeah, amazing yeah. music productions. Dave, good, good editor, huh? Great Dragonfly Productions and Michael Scott is an attorney where I live. That's helping us get to Disney with oh, two terrific, times. terrific. So. By the way, both websites to so buy all oh, the yeah. CDs yeah. and all the paraphernalia yeah, stuff. Yeah, Trini Lopez Music dot net and Joe Chavera Music dot net. Right. And okay, I'm dying to know. <clears throat> I have a pink box sitting next no. to me. They take it out oh, of the car, yeah, yeah. and they say, you can't open it till on the show. So uh. I'm not sure if I want to open it on the show or not. But <laughs> You're going to love it. It's probably two toes, uh, or it's no. another dog. I think you'll like it. It's not your upside down. Oops, it's upside down. It's a custom down. box that we made. Me and Trini it says, put that together. thank you, Melinda, for our interview. And it's signed Trini and Joe. Um, Melinda, thanks for And there's a smaller one that says, oh, so now I open this up this way. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> ah, now I have my own t shirt. Yeah. Thank you, gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's our Trini, Trini and Joe, Joe reality, reality show. show. Oh, show. quickly talk about yeah. the reality yeah. show. Yeah, it starts next that. week. It'll be on a YouTube channel like uh, Melinda's show is. And it's just going to be us on tour talking about how we write the songs and recognizing talent when you send in your videos. To, fan uh, mail, fan mail. Fan mail to. And, that, and, and all that information is on your website, right. right? How they can send information and, and send fan lists. Yes. Right, Trini? Yes. 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 So, well, congratulations, gentlemen. This sounds like a great collaboration. And, and Aura Lee is always there supporting, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. supporting them. Yes. And uh, anyway, thank you, gentlemen, for joining me on Talk of the and Desert. Nice on your show. Congratulations Definitely. on everything, Trini. It's always a pleasure, honey. You are a legend, you know. I've known you a long time. I know. I've known you a long time. Love you. Love you. Love you, too, Trini. Okay. And thank you, audience, for joining us. For more information, email TOTDTV at questoffice.net and visit talkofthedesert.tv on the web.